Hello, my beautiful computer science students. Welcome to our last lesson in Unit 6. Um, this lesson is going to talk all about arrays of objects. So we've talked about how arrays can hold any data type, um, but we haven't specifically seen how they hold objects yet. We've seen how they hold integers and strings, but not um, object references that we've made. So that's what we're going to go over in today's lesson. Uh, so again, any data type, including objects that we create. Um, so in this example, I want to think back to our dog class from our earlier units that we've been that we've been using. If we wanted to create an array of dogs, of dog objects, um, to create an array using uh, objects. It's the same syntax, it's just going to look a little different. Because now, instead of declaring as like an int or a string, we create it with the actual type. So if I want to create an array of dog objects, I use what my object is, dog, followed by open close brackets, my reference, and then the new constructor, um, the new operator, and then dog, and still the length of the array that I want. Okay. So that syntax creating an array is the exact same. We're just using our object name here in place of the data type. Now what this looks like in memory, doggy list is my array reference and it's going to point to an array that has a length of four. And remember with reference types, um, or excuse me, with reference or primitive types, it's filled with the default value. Okay. And with our primitives, like the default for int is zero. The default for um, a Boolean is false. But with reference, it's different. With a reference variable, it's filled with null. Okay. So it's very important to know that when you do this, a dog has not been created. No dog objects have been created. You have created an array that has the ability to hold dog objects, but currently, as it is right now, it is not holding any dog objects. Okay? It is all null. Okay? So if I tried calling on, let's say, doggy list um, one, and I tried to reference like the first index, um, I would get a null pointer exception, meaning it's null. There, you can't work with a null reference. No dogs have been created. Okay. So bec because it doesn't have any dog objects, you have to create those dogs. Okay. Now to create a dog, you still have to call on a constructor. That's the only way you can create objects is by calling on a constructor. So for each dog element in the array, you have to call on a constructor. What that looks like, again, this is what we have right now in memory. This is what the code would be. I would say doggy list zero equals, and I would have to create the dog. So here I'm using my default constructor for my dog, new dog. So what that means is at the zero index, I have created a new dog. And remember, these were the three default values for my three instance variables in dog. Unknown name, zero for age, and true because they're a good dog. Okay, By default, they're a good dog until we've were proven otherwise, right? So those are the three instance variables, and I've created my new dog. I would have to go and do that for each of my indices in order to have them um, be created. So dog list one, I could use my parameter constructor, new dog Fido three true. So and that first index Fido three true would be my dog object, and then list two bubbles ten. And then that's my other parameter, remember, that only accepted two parameters. And then true was the default value for a good dog. And then I added a last dog, Mallory, who is not a good dog. False, but she's two years old. So what can we expect from her? <laughs> so that's my dog list. Now my doggy list holds four dog objects. Okay. So it's two parts. I have to create my array to hold my dog objects. And then I have to actually create my dogs. Okay. So this is one way we can make an array of objects. The other way is to call in the constructors all in one line. Okay. So here's another example. I have dog, open close 
uh, square brackets. Now this reference is called other list equals. And remember how I could create like integers or doubles. I just separated with them, them with a comma when I made an array of integers or doubles. Um, it's the same thing here. I can use these curly brackets to create my objects and array all on one line. Okay, so this creates the array and it creates the objects. Each object is separated by a comma in the array. So this creates a new dog using the default constructor, a new dog using the two parameter constructor, and a new dog using the three parameter constructor. Okay. So that's how I can basically combine everything into one line of code, making an array and creating those objects all on one line. Okay. All right, let's see how we use it. Okay. So now let's see, we have our list of dogs created. I put it here on the screen so we can kind of reference it, but this is how it is in memory with the indices on top of it too. And we're just gonna see what the following lines of code print to the council. Okay. So let's look at this first line. It says doggy list one dot get name. So remember that doggy list one, this refers to a dog object. Okay. This is a reference to an, an object. So in order to do anything with the object, I have to call on my methods, right? So it's saying doggy list one, get the dog in the first index, that's this guy right here, and get the name, okay? What's the name of the dog in the first index? That's gonna be Fido, okay? So we're still using our methods with these objects, but now they're just in a list, so we have to reference them through the list. Here's another example. So doggy list zero says, okay, the object, the dog at the zero index set their name to Peaches. Okay. So right now the dog at zero index has the name of unknown. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna set it equal to Peaches. Okay, unknown gets tossed out. Peaches is now going to be stored there. So now when I go down to the next line and I say, okay, the doggy at index zero, get their name and then print it off. Okay, well their name is Peaches now. So, and the council Peaches would get printed off. Okay. Now let's check out this for loop. Okay, this regular for loop still uses index i. Um, and it says as long as it's less than doggy list dot length i plus plus. So we're going through each dog in the list, okay? And then I have kind of a chain of things happening in this one, um, one piece here. So let's go inside first. Inside the parentheses it says doggy list i dot get age. So it says whatever current dog you are on, get the age and add one to it. Right? That's what it says in parentheses here. Get the age and add one. So get the age, add one, and then what do you do with it? Well, you're gonna, with that same dog, you're gonna set the age to that modified um, value. Okay? And because it's a for loop, it says do this with each dog. So each dog, go to each dog's age, add one, and then set that to the new dog's age. Okay, so Peaches is one, Fido four, Bubbles 11, Mallory three. All of those get one added to it. So that becomes the new age of all of our dogs. Okay, so we were able to modify each dog's age. Okay, and that's the beauty of having an array of objects is now I can condense a lot of this code if I had to change a lot of data at once, I can condense it all down to just this one line here, okay? It's super great, we love objects. Now this last bit of code is a for each loop, okay? So for each dog, we're gonna call the local variable puppy in doggy list, okay? So it's saying for each dog in doggy list, okay? that current element, call it puppy, get the age and print it off with a space after it, right? All on one line, okay? So for each dog, we're gonna get the age and we're gonna print it off. So one, four, 11, and three get printed to the council. Okay, 
and that's an array of objects, okay? At least that's all we're going to talk about right now. We'll see a few other examples in, um, in our homework assignment, um, but uh, that's kind of the basics of what you got to know for arrays of objects. So thank you guys as always for following along, and I will see you next time.